Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a text or any effect animated inside the wheel easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, select all points on the wheel, then right click and select set ground plane and origin. Right click again and click on create text and camera. Let's type in anything you want and then press S on your keyboard and make this text a bit smaller so it can fit inside the wheel. Then correct X, Y and Z rotations and position it until you are happy with it. Let's quickly check it if it's tracked well. Everything seems cool to me, I will just correct position and rotation a bit more. Now select your clip and we can delete 3D camera tracker effect on it, because we don't need it anymore, then we will need to mask the wheel, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, select an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and hit on tracking button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close Mocha AE. Now expand mat and click on create AE masks. Duplicate your clip now. Let's rename top clip to a car and then press M on your keyboard and change mask mode to subtract, then make sure to move car layer above the text layer. Now select your very bottom clip and rename it to wheel. Then make sure to move it below car layer. Now press P on your keyboard to open position and then click on position stopwatch icon. Let's scroll somewhere in the middle now and move position all the way down. Let's quickly check what we've got. Looks nice, but let's select both keyframes and then press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. That looks way better. Let's close graph editor now and correct your text position, rotation, or scale if needed. In case if you want to make your text 3D, make sure to change renderer option to advanced 3D and then open your text settings, then expand geometry options and slightly increase extrusion depth. It looks better, but now let's enable motion blur on wheel layer and then we can add more of VFX in the wheel to make it a bit more interesting. In my case I will add a fire footage and since we have a tracked camera, we can enable 3D on the fire footage and it will be tracked as well. Now simply correct X, Y and Z rotations, positions and scale it until it will look cool to you. Then make sure to move the fire layer below car and wheel layers and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.